zoning board. Uh, uh, three minutes of the uh, right. Seven fifty-five. Uh, the uh, you all have a chance to read the minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Make a motion to accept the minutes. So mm -hmm. moved. Okay, the motion's been made. Second, to accept the minutes of November 19th. 19th. Any discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay, the minutes have been approved. Situation. Oh, I didn't give you a report because I gave it to you last night. Oh, right. Okay. okay. We got that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. We don't need to have all the interest we earned. Did you buy anything this month? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy some. I did have a bill, though, and you signed for it. It was for the periodicals. Ah, Remember? yes. Yeah. Right. The, uh, right. That's right. That was the only thing that uh, we, uh, we did. We what, 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 are those the, the law reporter? Uh, right, the uh, land, 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 yes. land reporter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, it was a renewal. Yes. A renewal. Yep. That was it. Okay. Okay. Well, what we're going to do tonight is uh, discuss, uh, get into a discussion on our pending zoning board of appeals rules the rewrite of them and I don't know how much of it you guys have gone through and looked at but uh, I myself have gone through the rough draft of what we've got and I have a few questions that uh, I have noticed, so uh, I started by giving what I've got. All right. One is I think we need a table of contents. Okay. Uh, make it easier for people find what it is they're looking for. Uh, and uh, I don't know what the real status is, but oh, we, have, we, we, we serve as the Zoning Board of Appeals. We also serve as the Zoning Board, the, not the Zoning Board, the Board of Appeals under Chapter 81. And I, and the, uh, I think the rules and regs would, uh, apply to Chapter 81, our operating and so forth and whatnot. So I think probably that needs to be part of, uh, you know, who we are and what we do. There's even no, there's even no though that, see, there's two boards. There's the Zoning Board of Appeals and there's the Board of Appeals under 81 as I understand it. And the operating rules under 81, I'm sure, basically the same. Earlier editions of our rules make no reference to 81. Uh, yes, because uh, we weren't operating under that. Uh, but this earlier edition is dated 92. Actually, we signed off on this in, uh, we signed off on whatever update we did here 
in 2010. And okay. we did, and we okay. chose not to include it. Okay. All right. So well, either it was an oversight. Yeah, if it's an oversight, it should be correct. Yeah. Right. I mean, if if, if there's specific with reference, one. I've never. Yeah, me either. But it's easy enough to look it's, up. Um, um, we've only had one case. Where the hell did you come up with that? <laughs> we we have come up. Where's your iPad? I, I'm not really sure just what it what it is, but it has has something to do with. Uh, To make it simple, if uh, a developer wants to develop a piece of land and he goes to the planning board and they can't come to an agreement, mm -hmm. and they turn him down. Mm -hmm. He can come to us to appeal their decision. And I think that's what 81 is. Wow. Is, is it only, it's not, it's not a homeowner and their own builder. It's a developer? Is there, right. by right. definition, a I, developer? I believe, I believe so. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, I believe so. Because there certainly is reference We've to had one, one... We've had one case on it, and it dealt with Abazera out there on uh, Cindy Lane. Yeah, sure. Okay. Hmm. I believe. Hmm. It's the only case that we had. We had. It was a case of uh, it was it it was a case of, it was a piece of land. The rotary of the path? It was, it was a piece, a piece of land. On a, on a weird section? No, there was a piece of land owned by a woman by the name of Wright. Oh, the other guy. I think. And she I had, know, a, she had always frontage on highways. meeting house Open land. Exit. Yeah, but that we, I know the case. Well, I remember a case of okay, we but that the attorney, the attorney, well, chapter eighty one, uh, thought maybe that we could I grant I her the, it through eighty one. Doesn't seem like it. we saw that case though, but I didn't think it had anything. I don't about think that. it was that one. I no, think I think you're talking about the circle. It must be the 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 previous contract that had built the first section. And he the, took over on? from the street there, yep. wasn't that the, but isn't like section 18, right? Not 18. No, 81. 81. 81. Right, no, I know, but when, I, when I put in chapter 81, it came up Come with up section, section 18, yeah. defects in highway and yeah. liabilities. So I have to find out what the section is under the chapter 81. But that was, they were fighting over if he had the right of way to continue from his property, wasn't that it? Yeah, that could be that. That, that, could that be. off that we, circle. That's yeah, a, where yeah, he that, ended up. Yeah, the, okay. I don't. I don't think we ever made a decision on it. No, I think they went to court on it. So, so oh, even uh, that right. other guy, they went to court on it. Okay, maybe maybe it's not important. Well, it's certainly worth. Yeah, we're going to find out what it is. Yeah. 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 Be important. <laughs> we I mean, it might have to do with what the town has adopted because, as far as because when you when you go to when you get reappointed, when you go, when you get reappointed, the clerk has you sign under the zoning board of appeals, and also yeah. board of appeals, uh, board of appeals yeah. under chapter eighty one. You sign well, I didn't two see places that. on her book. Yeah, I know. I signed two places, but yeah. it's been a while since I did that. All right. Because we're appointed to both boards. We should get a copy Because I just signed one, I think. Did you? I just did it last month. I yeah. just signed one. Yeah. Well, you've got to do your apprentice program for us before you can get on that other one. <laughs> yeah. That we don't know what it's for. <laughs> I don't, I don't funny. know. No, I think he's right, because I think I signed one. Yeah, I, I don't think I signed one. I'll have to pull them. I have them upstairs. Next I week I can pull copies on them. Okay. 
All right. So well, anyways. I can always ask Google what. Right. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Google Mass General Laws. No, but Google doesn't tell you what the town's adopted. No, no, no. I know, but we can see if it even exists out there, that it even addresses any of this. Yeah. Okay. All right. My other, my other comment uh, was uh, uh, we had, uh, in the old, old set of rules, we had... Uh, List of special forms. Yes. Okay. Uh, comp comp uh, comprehensive permit application. Yeah. Uh, the application to the zoning board. We had uh, 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 Pro the form. covenant covenant for in law apartment. Yes. Yeah. I uh, agree. And I think those should still be in pro forma. Uh, pro for forma and. Those should all be part. I agree. Part of part of this. I agree. Okay. All right. The other thing that uh, I found was that uh, uh, we have here uh, reference to the Raleigh zoning. Board of Appeals, okay. and then we reference to Board of Appeals, and Board of Appeals, uh, Board of Appeals, Zoning Board of Appeals, I think we should be consistent in what we say, that they should, I know it's redundant, but... Uh, no, that's easy enough. I think the first time we say it, mm -hmm. we just... We refer to it, in other words, on the on the first line, where it says these rules of the Raleigh Zoning Board of Appeals, and then we either say ZBA in parentheses, or we say you know to be known as ZBA, and then we just say ZBA everywhere else in the document. Well, okay, uh, okay. So we should take out Board of Appeals and put ZBA in there. Well, we have to. We I think we leave. No, up there. Up here, you leave it, and you put ZBA in parentheses after right, it. Right. And then down below, it zoning board of appeals just gets removed, and ZBA gets put in its place. So the reader knows when they see ZBA, what we're talking to is the zone. What we're talking about right. is the Raleigh zoning board right. of appeals. Let's see, right, right here, the very first page. We've got here board of appeals. Right. That this that, that should say ZBA. Cause it, we exactly. Got, okay, that should say ZBA. Yes. Agreed. Okay. Are you writing that in? Writing that in on your page? You need to make a note. I'm doing that too. That's fine. But there's so many. How, where do you want me to change? At the very beginning. Page. These rules. You see authority and purpose? Yeah. These rules are the Raleigh Zoning Board of Appeals. Mm -hmm. and right after that, because mm -hmm. I think that's the first place to put it. You put parentheses. Right. You could put here and after, quote, ZBA, close quotes, close parentheses. Here and after. Quote, open quotes, ZBA, close quotes, close parentheses. If that's the first place it appears. Yes, it is. Yeah. And then, whenever after that, I mean, you can do a universal replace. Right. right. Just put zoning board of appeals with ZBA. Right. Wherever, wherever you've got board of appeals or zoning board of appeals or whatever. Yeah, I've got to search them both. You go, search. Search and replace. Search you know that, don't you? Replace. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Everywhere you've got it, board of appeals, uh, to change it to ZBA. ZBA. Okay. But I mean, you can, you know, you can, it'll do it for you. You don't right. have to go right, you don't right. have to go through and find them. Right, no, I know that. Okay. But I'm, t I'm just, the wording, the wordage, I'm going to spell it out, Zoning Board of Appeals, or no, when the you letter search, you're ZBA. Gonna, no, ZBA. 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 As, as Bob said, here and after ZBA, the only thing that's going to show after that, everywhere, Board of Appeals, Zoning Board of Appeals, any combination of words is going to turn to ZBA. Okay.
All right, keep going. Okay. Uh, I get down here on page eight. Special permits for accessory in law apartments. Uh, yeah, I have that too. What do you have? Okay, we got here in January first, nineteen ninety. Yes. Now that's in the that's Yeah, we updated that. That's not right. Didn't we didn't we We opened it, right? Why can't that go back? Why does that have to start at that date? It doesn't. Should that, go back. It caps. Doesn't matter. I, I think. No, it caps at that day. <clears throat> well, it says both both existing and prior. No, it says both in existence prior, prior to, to January first. Why? Why? It. We, I believe we why updated it, it back? and said. No. It, or forward. It goes forward. Okay. Forward. Forward. It's under this, if you had a house built in two thousand, you you're screwed. Right. But, but why? You, now now you're, you're punishing a poor Right. Well, older we changed couple. that. We changed it. Yeah. You mean, you're not a poor older couple, a poor younger couple. I want my the parents to come live in the house and they can't well, I know, but I can't, can't live there. Yeah, I mean, right. Yeah. That's, yeah that's but my right. other thing would be who come up with the creation of the size? I mean, you like punishing someone that's worked all their lives and now the son or the, the, the family wants to take care of them and you put them in a suitcase. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I yeah. get claustrophobia in the place. You know? uh, Every town does it. Every right. single it's town. It's a shame. They I know, limit, but it's a they shame. limit the size of a, well, because they want to make sure it's an in-law apartment and not a rental. A rental. I know, but even if it's that size or not, they still can do anything they want if it's not enforced. Well, enforcement. I know, when they sell right? a house in other towns, uh, the villain inspector has to make sure that that's taken out. Right. You know. Right, you can't sell it with an in-law apartment. Right. Normally. It but doesn't, it doesn't, it goes with no. the people, not the land. Right. But I would think that you could give them the option of making it a little bigger. That's what I was trying to. Well, we did expand it at one point to it's where seven, it is now. 700 and something square feet? 700 even. 700 even, Up all right. Up to a maximum of 700. Yeah. I mean, an ant would have a problem sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. No. I well, you can you can put in a percentage of the total square footage too. You can say seven hundred or fifteen percent or twenty percent or depending on. Well, that's in the bylaw. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, the right. bylaw must have that, right? That's, that's not the, the rule. Yeah, it's in the bylaw. It's not. So Besides. we can't change the bylaw by doing this. Anyways, I was. I, I had that circle January 1st, 1990, because I wondered if that was the right date. No, I don't, I, I'm, that's what I'm trying to find, but I'm pretty sure that w we've all had this conversation before about, well, that's ridiculous, because then anyone who has a newer house in town can't, isn't eligible for bylaw, right. uh, for a, um, yeah. in-law, oh, in -law. In -law. Yeah. and that was changed. Um, and I'm trying to find was where that, we was, was, that. was that part of our discussion with the uh, uh, zoning review board? Uh, yeah, I think it was, but I still think we got it to town, and town town meeting voted on it, and that's why it's an amendment to the bylaws. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking that'd be a good thing to bring up in twelve and thirteen. And I'm not mm -hmm. finding it, but I thought I thought we did because I thought we've had this conversation. You know, there isn't anybody that looks at that and reads it and comes up with a different conclusion than the one you are. Mm. So, what, what, you know, why do that? Um, but I don't, I can't find, I don't see it. So I thought we did it too. And since we dated that in 2010. I think it would have to have been in 12, and this is where we did revision to accessory in-law bylaw, single family damp bylaw, removed dwelling, newly revised accessory in 
law by law, home of all ages are allowed to apply for permit. There, 212. We did, do. it's been revised. Revi yeah. revised Newly so. revised accessory in law by law, homes of all ages are allowed, all ages are allowed to apply for a permit in 2012. Okay. We changed it in the bylaw. So that 19, right. I, I had the we same notation. We that out. Yeah, that's wrong. All right. That has to just be corrected. Mm -hmm. The language. Age, tall age. Okay. Okay. Appeals only within single family dwellings located. Yeah, that was the other thing I had. You could put a period after the word dwellings. We just, we have to get the exact, it's in the bylaw. We have to get the exact language of the new bylaw I'll for copy. that sentence. Okay. Okay. Town of West Newburgh, every any house in that whole town can be put in with two families. You mean there's no zoning restriction on two normal? Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Uh, Okay, the next item I had was uh, in the next uh, paragraph down under C. Tax which make up the substantial hardship, financial or otherwise. I know that's I know that's what uh, state law says, but they don't refer to financial. It's not financial hardship. And if it is financial hardship, uh, it cannot be of their own making. Does the state say economic? How about a handicap hardship? I mean, well, well, this is this is. Uh, well, that would be substantial. This is variance language, though. Mm -hmm. So th there's this there is isn't this variance. isn't debatable. There's the variance language we just have to get. Uh, I think it says financial or otherwise, Tom. Yeah, it does say financial or otherwise. But what I'm saying is people interpret that, that uh, uh, I mean can't do this because I can't afford it. Right. Okay? Right. Well, they can't afford it because they don't have the money. Uh, and that's not a reason. You're right. The case law, you have to look at the case law interpreting that section. Right. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how you do that in a rule. Unless they just leave out facts which make up the substantial hardship. And, and you know, for further detail, see the, the law. I mean, you've already you've quoted 40A15 above. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, it, to me, if it's it does it does read that statement does read if someone is saying, okay, let me see if I can figure this out. Um, because we can't do this, we need a variance. Because uh, we don't have the money. It says substantial hardship, financial, that's a problem, or otherwise, which result from literal enforcement of the applicable zoning restrictions with respect to the land or buildings for which the variance is sought. It clearly states that the financial hardship or otherwise, must result from the property. 
And, and we know that in invariance, what they're talking about is there's, you know, a mound of rock that, that changes the topography so much so that you can't build a house over here. Or and anywhere, and, and right. it can't do anything with it. So we're going to give you a variance because the only place you can put it is over here within the setbacks. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, that's a real need because you're meeting a hardship. But if you can't afford to build a house on here without moving it wherever you want to move it, that's not because of the land. At this point, it's the land. Is, is that enough here? I mean, to me, this statement does say it has to result from literal enforcement. And I would think that a literal interpretation of that statement is it says it's got to result from literal enforcement of zoning restrictions. What are those? You read those, you look those up with respect to the land or buildings for which the variance is sought. It has nothing to do with justifying, you know, we, we, you know, this is the hardship. We need a variance because we can't afford to do exactly what we want to do the way we want to do it. Yeah, but that, they're creating that hardship. That's what you I'm saying. They they don't have. That's not a variance. That's, that's not, not a variance. variance. You can't create. You can't grant it for that. Right. So I, I this wouldn't, this, and and this this simply is designed to tell us how to interpret what a variance is. Our bylaw actually says how to deal with it. Right. This, no, is this just talks a, about the brief. This just says what has to be included. In right. The brief. Exactly. This is just data that's supposed to come to us. And, it, and we can say, well, wait a minute, you know, you've got to give us all of these, this information in order for us to even interpret whether or not it might be a hardship, which you've given us, you know. Okay. All right. You know? So leave, leave it the way it is. Leave it in. Leave it the way it is. Yeah. Probably better if it wasn't there. I was going to say, you sometimes... With these things, the less you say, the better. Yeah, yeah. Every yeah. time you add something, it, yeah, complicates it. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think it hurts it. All right. And uh, okay, on page twelve, repetitive petition. No appeal of a decision by the inspector of buildings. No request for a special permit. Of variance which has been unfavorably and finally acted upon by the Board of Appeals shall be acted upon within two years after the date of final unfavorable action unless at least five members of the Planning Board and a unanimous vote of the Zoning Board agree that new evidence presented indicates that the Reapplication is substantially altered by the original petition. I didn't know the plan board had anything to do with it. Yeah, why would they even be in there? They shouldn't be. That shouldn't be in there. Right. I would say delete that, wouldn't you? Why should a planning board be where involved in our decision? Okay. I, I, where did it come from? Where, where did it come from? Another town. Huh. Yeah. I oh, it's not in our. No, no, it's I took the bylaw. now. Is that our, no. No. Okay. It's not in the bylaw then. Okay. No. okay. All right. So I would, uh, I would, I would scratch that. Mm. Okay, the whole paragraph, Don. Uh. Or tell me what's what sentences, what words. And I don't have a problem with just. Well, saying, you can leave it in there. I just take out the planning board. Yeah, I think if something changes, I mean, we'd want to help. You know. Right. 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 Here right. again. Right. I right. agree. Right. Right. Just take out members of the planning board. Well, you want to take out at least five at members least, yeah. of the planning yeah, board. At least the five, yeah. Unless one, a unanimous vote. It'd be a zoning board of appeal, but... Yeah, it'd be, so it could be a four to five mm. vote. Okay. Out of that, unanimous. Oh, I thought it said... At least, okay, at, at least, least, unanimous vote, at unanimous least four. Vote. Put at least four. Yeah. Oh, four, okay. At least four. Members. All members. Of the zoning. Of the zoning zone board of appeals. At least four. Yeah, 
that's fine. That's all the Board of Appeals agree that a new evidence presented in the case. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's that. What's that? Two, the board. Two in parentheses. What page are you? Petition again. Two. Oh. The second element says, and two, the Board of Appeals finds specific. It actually has to have two. There are two conditions which have to be met. One is oh. that no four out of yeah, four out of five no agree that it's worth considering, and two that there's no evidence. So oh, okay, I get you. That just has to be brought up. That's that, a that should format. Be. Oh, no. Yeah, it's no. brought up. I have to bring it up in yeah. a sentence. Okay. Uh, Then we get over here onto a comprehensive permit. Page, uh, page 16. Section 3.2. I, uh, I would like to uh, change that fee. Uh, requirements uh, <coughs> uh, we can we can discuss it I think a thousand dollars is too cheap in today's market mm. uh, in that first paragraph I think that should be at least five thousand dollars, at least, uh, and I think uh, <coughs> if we wanted to go to a limited dividend organization, I'd say make that one hundred and fifty dollars per unit, and for nonprofit, a hundred dollars a unit, and public agencies and local zero if you want to do that. Uh, and then you get down to the next paragraph, uh, and I think uh, where the problem that we ran into with uh, the coolest and whatnot mm. is he did give us the five thousand dollars, but gave it to us very reluctantly, and I think we should ask for more money for uh, uh, that's legal counsel. Ten thousand, prim prim primarily, and uh, uh, we could go twenty thousand. I would almost double, double those figures. The way this is written here, it did. It, did, did you did you get this from the original? From the original yeah. one, yeah. yeah. Okay. This only refers, the way this is written here, it only refers to our ability to use legal, use these additional fees for legal counsel. And, and in a comprehensive permit, most of, our, most of our needs don't relate to legal counsel. Some of it does. Uh, On occasion, we had cases where we had needed legal advice, but most of it was technical advice. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Um, and I don't have a problem and and I don't have a, and I think I read elsewhere in our bylaw well no I guess that was under here um, that we either that we either itemize how we want to apportion this money um, additional money that we're collecting um, on the next page and the next page, it, it, it covers uh, $5,000 with the application for uh, consultants. 
and I think that should be come yeah, ten thousand. Yeah, I think that should be ten thousand dollars. This here, and this one here, uh, where it covers legal fees, I'm not too sure on that. Um, but I'm raising a question. That's all. No, I think you're right. You got to get up these fees with times, I and mean, the fees are changing all the time. I mean, I did the thing in this, which my electrical permit for there was twenty thousand dollars. So that's just electrical permit. Oh my goodness! Why yeah. do you think he goes to Aruba three times a year? No. I mean, oh you're, you're built on a, if you're building a multi-million dollar place, I mean, you know, wow, piece of cake. Wow. How do people do it today? And they make a they make a fortune. That's why it costs you ten thousand dollars a month to live in a system of the price. The middle class can't afford it. No. Mm. No, that's I it. Mean, these, these young kids today, how the heck do they do it? There's there's no middle class anymore. Well, no, that's right, exactly. It's poor and then up. At one time, I was up under the class. Now I'm, yeah. I'm mid-poor. <laughs> well, okay, that just seems to me like, you know, uh, maybe it's not. It seems like a lot of money for you. Tell me. Well, these have to be approved by town meeting, right? Ultimately? No. Not these. No. Not these. No. Not the these. What? Uh, okay. This, I thought I saw something that said they had to be... No. 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 We have to submit this to the board of selectmen. Yeah, that's it. And, and uh, the town council. And then town, the the town council. Okay. Well, the only thing I'm thinking of is if somebody were to ask me, where'd you get the numbers? What's it based on? Is it just... See to your pants feeling. Good point. Yeah. Um, well, the cost of the. It's always nice to be able to say we came up with this number because whatever. And if, I think that's if the number's 20 years old, I mean, inflation's been zero for the last six or seven years, but there is inflation. I mean, you know, maybe you leave the legal fees pretty much as they are and change the consultant's fees because you find that the consultants... They've gone up. Uh, yeah, they've definitely But, but the up. use of the consultant's gone up more. The consultant has replaced the lawyers in this process or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the legal fees go from 10 to 12 or 10 to 15, but the consultant goes double. Or, mm. um, why can't, why can't we, I think the point is well taken, why can't we justify whatever number we ultimately decide on by, you know, we can do it the whole way, you know, get the comprehensive permit rules from, you know, three towns the same size, five towns the same size on the North Shore. If they've been redone, you know, that's the trouble. If well, whatever. If well, they're 15 well, right. years old, you know. Well, then, then you say, listen, right. we're going to extrapolate. We found, right. here's representative size town. Mm -hmm. Representative amount of building similar to our town. Well, the paperwork and that is, is uh, well, they don't pay us anything. No, but see, that's that's what they'll say is, well, wait a minute, your costs of a board haven't gone up. Your administrative costs are taken care of otherwise. Where's the money go? No, it goes no, back right. into the general fund. It goes to the general fund, and that's what you. Well, our about. Front, our front end fee does. But the rest of these fees, if they're not consumed... The, the consultant or the legal, they go back, right? Yeah, right, they go back. So, you know, the only, the only fee that ends up being additional revenue, in the sense of going into a town fund or the board's fund, is yeah, the front-end app fee. Yeah. And, and when you think of the time, when you think of the time that five-plus of us spent on Marion Way, for almost five years, you you couldn't compensate right. enough for that. Mm -hmm. So right. so if the front end fee had been even twenty five hundred or five thousand, it still wasn't sufficient. Mm -hmm. And let's face it, I 
you sat on more, but I can't imagine a comprehensive 40B permit is like what we have tonight. I mean, we've got a single meeting here facing us. Yeah. Uh, even under best cases, they want you to do those comprehensives in the six to 12 months. But I would say, try to, I would see if you can find some other data, because Bob's right. We can't just say, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I'll research, <laughs> I'll research. See if you can find some. A few towns. Find some towns around here. Yeah. Okay. And do some comparisons. Find some sister towns, you know. Okay. Um, yes. On, on, on You're always going to have some on, on that area, area but, but I have. Oh, but I think. Like, I have the same fees here that I have in Ipswich, and then I have people in Ipswich, guys complain, hey, why so much? I say, you don't want to work in this town? Don't take out a permit. Right. Yeah, that's what it is. Right. right. We have it here in Laurel Raleigh. Okay, so so she's going to check check out uh, what on the the Consult. attorneys fees. I'll consult. Oh, consult. all of this. Both. Well, well, on the next page, okay. On the next you want page, to increase, like there so. are provisions for going out to bid for up to fifteen grand and over fifteen grand. So there's a reasonable there's a reasonable process there defined for. Fees which we did not incur with um, uh, Marion Way, and uh, what was the other one we did? No, that was all Marion Way. Even with all the traffic studies we did, you know, and stuff that was done, we did. Did we go past the five? How far did we go past the five? Did we ask them for more? Or was it we just asked the five? Them for more. We 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 got five and we spent the five. Yeah. And uh, we got the other five on, that had on the initial back. on yeah. the initial exactly. Ab. We got another five and then gave it back. So we didn't use it. Right. Yeah, we didn't use it. Well, th this would seem to me to and uh, this covers up to fifteen and then fifteen or more more. But the thing is, I think that whole thing came in. It didn't come in right anyway. You shouldn't have had those continuums and continuums. Well, uh, that should have. We should make them right from the beginning. But that, you know, in a 40B, the applicant has control of that situation. No, as long as no, they want to continue. He should, have he should have came in everything done straight. Well, he did that after a year. He figured out that he needed to fix it. I don't know. Still didn't make a difference. He had a typo there on 4.3B, you know, right after four services in. Tan. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah, no. There's a couple. Thanks. I found a couple other times. You always pick them up. Oh, I got thousands in there, but I didn't even... <laughs> Go ahead. You'll tell see. me. No. <laughs> no. No. We'll catch him on the next review. Is that supposed to be the? I'm not exactly sure because I was cutting and pasting a lot, so... No, it's supposed to be for services in an amount. Perfect. It's, it's just perfect. the T is right. yeah. just got to go out, that's yeah. all. Yeah. It cost the T off. Yeah. That's Microsoft adding stuff. <laughs> Thinks you're trying to say something else. Uh -huh. Says that's a word. Okay, do you do you agree on the ten thousand dollars up here in the top of the page? Seventeen. It says five. Change that to ten. Yeah, I would. Well, that's. You know, in in this state, you're gonna have it anyway. Well, see, we state up here the application shall be accompanied by a two-part filing fee. Okay, so there we say, in other words, going back a page to 16, yep. we we say the application is a two-part filing fee. One, which is is whatever that dollar amount stated here is 1,000 is, plus a per unit charge. Okay, mm -hmm. then we then it says okay. In the next paragraph, the application fee shall include five thousand dollars to pay for services. Now, is that does that on top of this initial two part, and so we have five thousand dollars there, and then here. Okay, all right. Are well, we saying got, another five grand? Got, she got section three point two. The okay. application shall come, come by two part filing fee consisting. Okay, so that's. One plus this, that's two. Then you come down here in the Article 4, 
right. review fees and procurement. That's something different. different. Uh, all, that's all I'm asking. Are, yeah. are we saying we're going to hit you for five in legal fees and whatever our application fee is? Now, also, we're all going to charge you for consultant fees of five. So, so is the upfront number five five and some application fee and per unit fee? So the upfront fee is. 10 to 15 grand, 18 grand. Yeah. Is that is that where we are? That's yeah. what. I'm, that's oh, okay. What, that's what. I'm, that's what I'm saying. Does the because um, because this money here will be refunded. I, I understand that. That money there will It'll be go re back. refunded if it isn't used. Right. Okay. Uh, but we want it there. We don't want to get into. Uh, we have uh, to ask it for more. Have to ask for more. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Right. Okay. I just you know what I sure. haven't looked at, and I, I guess I, I probably should have if I thought about it, but are there any restrictions on, on these fees from the uh, state? I don't think so. I don't think so, but there might be. I thought the town has, that's the town, the town, no, but the town but has 40 all different B. fees, even well, on the 40B, it's an application. I know, but I'm wondering, does the state housing, I'm trying to think, what's the agency? How, the housing. Yeah, housing. Yeah, I know. Once this gets some, excuse yeah. me, gentlemen. Once no. this gets submitted to the town council, I'm sure they would let us know. Let you close. Right. Okay. Yeah, we can let it go that way. I, yeah. Well, I, I don't. I don't. Because they go over it with a fine tooth comb. Every town and charge the town. Every town has their own fees. I'm yeah, probably sure. Some are subject to whatever the state fee is. Well, I'm thinking 40B might be subject to the. To, uh, I can just imagine the agency in Boston saying, "No, no, no! That you're you're trying to find a way to stop them at the door, so right, you don't have right, to decide right, it." Right, right, oh, right, right. Good point. right. Yeah. You're trying to act as a deterrent. Yeah, no. See if you can find fees in it. Look at 40B. You need to go to the state 40B and see if there's anything that limits the amount of town people have charge or a board. But I would I would like to change that. I'd like to change that to ten thousand on the on the. Fees there. Top of the page, page 17. Page 17. I like to change yep. that to 10. Okay. Okay. For now, yep. if we can't do that, we can't. We'll uh, go and, back to 750. And uh, <laughs> uh, and then on 3 2, change the 1,000 to 5,000. Yeah. And. Uh, and the price per unit mm -hmm. at 150, and uh, non-profit 100, and uh, 100. Now, public, would that be public agency or local? Just local, not. Should we erase, get rid of public agency? What, what do we so refer to as agency? public agencies? Public agency to me is one that is would chartered that, would by that, this. Would that be light department, water department? Would that? Yeah, to me that's a. Isn't that a public no. agency? Yeah, no, that's a type of public agency. But right. I'm trying to think which public agency would actually want to sponsor affordable housing. Um, Good point. Yeah. Well, we well, 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 had a housing authority. Well, yeah, housing, housing authority. Well, housing authority. Right. But that's that's state. That's state. That's all funded by the state. That's housing authority. That's, that's the I don't know. I know. Some, of, some towns have their own housing authorities. Right? Yeah. yeah, but the state, yeah, but they work, they're, they're on the state. The state okay, they're, but they're still public, right? Was, that was the only question. Yeah, it's just a pub, it's a, not a question where, at what level, it's are they public. I don't see, you know. If, if anything, I don't really know what local means. So it's for public ages and local, local what? Local well, public. <laughs> Kicked on the head by a hoss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cross that one off. So cross off local, Don? Cross off public agencies and local. Okay. Just cross that right off. Okay. I lost my place. What was I? Page 16. 16. Page 16. 3.2. Oh, I don't know, I just had it. No, I can't. Okay. Oh, okay. 
So cross off pump, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and you're going to check on the next paragraph on yes. this the five thousand seven hundred five hundred and ten thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. And uh, okay. Uh, okay, very last page. Philip Cressy is no longer on our board, and neither Nathaniel Dummer is no longer on our board. Oh, those don't count as fines. Those are easy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> those don't count as finding something defective. That's too easy. <laughs> Keep in mind, this was done. A year ago. No work. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Matt's okay. there, not there either. Right. Right. Yeah, and uh, I've got here to change the date, 2015 to 2016. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. granted. Way down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's what I had. Okay, what do you have? Sure. I, uh, I didn't have much. I was Nothing at all, to be honest with you. I that in law thing that she already covered. Okay. Tom, what about you? Uh, I, get a, I got a number of minor things. One on page three. Mm -hmm. um, you recall when Don wasn't here, um, we had to deal with this issue of whether or not we have a vice chair or not. Um, we don't identify it here. Uh, we don't address the subject at all. There is, there is a mode of succession stated here under the chairperson duties. This is a, this is a draft that I found from another municipal agency, another zoning board who actually incorporates um, the role of a vice chair. Um, that if we want to consider incorporating it here, um, I think this is simple and short enough. It creates some functional parameters that are trigger points for when it starts and when it ends and why you use it and why you wouldn't use it. Um, the main reason I think it might have some value for us to consider, at least in the way we're constituted, is the clerk the clerk has, at least historically since my involvement, been responsible for drafting and writing the decisions. And if the chair, in the one time that I had to act as chair, in addition to thinking about whatever the chair is supposed to thinking about, you are also thinking about what you have to write for the decision and do that kind of stuff. For any prolonged period of time, I think it's a burden. The vice chair, the creating the position of vice chair, allows the vice chair to assume, assume essentially the management responsibilities and delegate the writing responsibilities of the clerk to a temporary clerk, so that another individual on the board can do that um, for however long it's needed. And then when the chairman comes back, if assuming the chairman does come back. So what have you got? You got two proposals there? No, both. Oh, okay. Now, I know you do a lot of writing, but uh, other towns, you know, that aren't on the boards and on the town. Yeah. They, a lot of times they let the lawyers write the decision and then we just go over it and it saves you a lot of I know, I know people on other towns that they just they pass the the decision writing around every yeah. every meeting, right. you know. So it doesn't have to stay here, uh, by all means. No. Uh, I'm just so thinking. I mean, I mean it, it would help out the clerk. I mean. Well, I think under it's only under these conditions. I have no problem. I enjoy doing the way we function right now. Oh, okay. So I I'm not trying to get out of being yeah, no, a clerk. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying to help. I'm, I'm just, you know, well, I mean, there, there no, was I interest would, from the I Board of Selectmen to, to, to have to be, to have a vice chair position in place. 
Now this set of chairman person authorities more clearly than our current rules creates um, uh, some succession line here uh, that we don't technically currently have. So this, what's here in Lisa's document, is better than what we actually have now. And if that's fine with you, that's fine. The question is, do we think about it? That was the only thought I had on I mean, the page. We've never had it in all the years. Only when he was out. Right, but he's been out before. Uh, but yeah, for once, it's not a, it, It's really only an issue when there's multiple um, absences, you know, or, you know, I mean, I mean, you know, if I, when I fell, if I was out for, you know, six months because I couldn't be in the clerk, someone would have to do that. Yeah. There needs to be some sort of, you know, provision for that kind of thing. The, the, the chairman can uh, appoint an acting clerk. This just provides for, in the absence of the chairman, the clerk to become the uh, chairperson. Anyhow, that's one thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, on page five, um, let's see, uh, let's see. Check that. On um, the first paragraph, application form, the last sentence it says the application must be signed by the owner and the applicant if different uh, the owner may not always be the applicant in some cases mm -hmm. uh, we, that's a case that we've had sometimes and i've always and we used to have a document for this where the actual owner of the property signs off acknowledging that he is aware that somebody else other than himself is submitting an application to the zoning board on his property. It's Whether it's a prospective buyer. A purchase and, that's usually what a purchase and sale agreement. Well, no, no you, you could have someone like this gentleman who is not the owner of the property. No, but he's in the process of buying it. He happens to have a PNS. Um, but there have been some cases where you might have someone who uh, look at 40B, technically speaking, as far as they I was concerned, yeah. Yeah. They, they never owned it, right? Yeah. You know, and they and they barely had a BNS. I mean, I thought that was a bit of a sham for quite a while. Um, I agree, you're right. And I'm just wondering if we should, if we should here address, you know, that we have a document. That well, they it's sign. on the application itself. Right. That. What does it say on our application? Uh, the applic it's, uh, I don't have it in front of me, but if it's two people, the owner or, or the, the applicant, applicant, or the applicant, and the two different, it says so on the application. It says that you're the owner or the applicant, but if you're not, if you're, if the applicant is not the owner. There's a place, though, for both to sign on the application. But suppose the owner doesn't sign. Mm. Then you can't. I want the owner to sign saying, I, I'm, I'm good with this. He doesn't have to be the applicant. But I want to know, I don't want the owner to say, what are you guys doing? I didn't ask for this to happen. This guy's acting totally on his own. Uh, I didn't ask him to change the use. He just, he's thinking about, I don't even have I a property. I thought the owner listed. was the only one. Who is? I thought the owner one is, the owner has to come in and, and apply for it. Owner, we have to know who the owner is, but he doesn't have to be the applicant. Well, no, he can have a representative, but he signs that that part on our application, on the application he's saying it's okay. Well, is that what it says? As long as it says that it's okay, he there authorizes is, yes, it. Yes, there is That's fine. Uh, an That's area on the application for... Because that was the instance we had with the, with the, the plumber who oh, won it. Yeah. yeah, you know, and uh, well, well, the gentleman who owns that property. He was just going to rent the place. Well, exactly. He was a renter. But the owner was here too. Yes, yes, exactly. But the owner wasn't the applicant. The applicant was Mafa, Mafe, or whatever his last right. name yeah, was pronounced. He was, yeah. he was the change. applicant who wanted to yeah, change the use. Right. That's right. right. To mixed use. Well, he didn't. But under up. the current application, the owner has to sign, right? Mm hmm. Well, this. In other words, the owner has to agree. Because right, he's the only legal person owning the property. He could only. Well, that, yeah, that. that's what Tom's saying is that you can't have the applicant alone. If the applicant's Correct. different, then the owner still has to sign. Right. All right, that's fine. Sorry. Okay. Um, that's why I could come in and change, change your place. You come well, I'm going to apply to do something to your house. Yeah. <laughs> God, All right. You can wait and see what I do. All right. <laughs> right. Talk about lighting, huh? Yeah. Um, 
over here again, 3A, bottom down here, um, says, uh, second sentence, second line, plans must be submitted to the town clerk and office of planning um, prior to the first filing before the Zoning Board of Appeals. Failure to comply with the requirements and result dismissal of the zoning board. I, you know, that seemed to be a process that another town utilized. Yes. We don't use it. Right. So let's no. tell me what to cross out. Here. Plan. Take it all. No, wait a minute. Each application, each application petition to the zoning board shall be accompanied by the following plan described plan and elevation. Plans must be submitted to the town clerk and office of the plan prior to the first public hearing. Well, they have to go to the town clerk. Failure to comply. Um, oh, Office of Planning, okay. Right. Yeah. I, I, that was verbiage. I didn't think it had to be there. What we do. I just assumed what we, was one what more we thing do. I didn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> what we do, uh, and check, tell me if I'm wrong, uh, Lisa. Uh, Joe Smith comes in for an application. He fills out the application, brings his paperwork and everything, he brings it to you. He has to go to the town clerk first. Okay, but you look at it first. Well, she helps him, she guides him. You, you guide. I tell him, we usually go over the application and the instructions on what he has to do. Okay. Then he takes it to the town clerk. Town clerk. And then what happens? She stamps it. She stamps it, then what? Then he has to go to the treasurer's department and get us signed off on that sheet. Then he has to go to the water department mm -hmm. and the light department gets signed off on that same sheet. Right, yep, and the water department. Then he has to make all his copies and now brings everything back to us. Okay, right. With the accompanying plans, plot plans. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the clerk, when does the time start? When we receive it? When the, cl when the clerk stamps, stamps it. it. All right. Yeah. So she doesn't stamp it until he's gotten all the, all the sign-offs and everything else, right? That's the last thing he does. Uh, uh, that's a fair question. I don't think so. Because he could, he could, he could file it on Monday, and the following Monday get it to you, and now a week's gone by. I'll have to rethink that. Um. It would make sense, Don. Yeah, I think you're right. There's a there's a catch twenty two there. Huh? I think you're right. It would make sense that she would have to only stamp a complete document, which would include all the sign offs because there could be a time delay of God knows who, right. what. He could spend I, a month getting that stuff if he's not in a hurry. Right, right, right. Well, it's right. all stapled, so I'm, I'm certain she's stamping something that's all together. Okay. Uh, I just don't know in what order this particular yeah. applicant is going okay. to okay. those other departments. I know, I know, I know, I know it's different now. But it used to be, years ago, that the town clerk would stamp the, the application and so forth, and then would call me or call my clerk mm -hmm. and tell them that an application has come in. Oh, that doesn't happen now. Because <coughs> that person, that applicant, brings them over to me, brings all the paperwork, all the copies. Okay. Now, when I get all the copies, I'm stamping it with the ZBA stamp. Okay. So that should be when the time starts. Not the town clerk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's in here somewhere. I, it, 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 
I think I think that should be stated somewhere in this document. I saw it somewhere. I read I was I read this whole thing today. I saw it because it's a fair question. This whole submission process and the timeline because we're under constraints. Oh, it says right here under three point two filing the third paragraph down. Riley Town, the clerk office, and must be filed with the office of the Zoning Board of Appeals. The town clerk shall indicate right. the date on which yeah, the application was received. The date of the recipient as indicated by the town clerk shall be considered to be the date on which the application has been filed. So it's a town clerk. Right, yeah. so it's a, t it's a town, town clerk. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why I say, that's why when she stamps that, Everything should be there, and uh, she should be the one that notifies us, not the applicant. As far as I've worked for the ZBA, when the, these applicants get stamped, I'm getting them the same day. Right. All the paperwork. Right. All the copies. Because after, when they get their paperwork stamped, they're going out and they're making all their, their 15 copies, and then they're dropping them off to me. Uh-huh. I've never seen a, you know, uh, an expanse of time from when they've gone to the town hall and then... Okay. Okay. It's still a, va it's still a valid point, though. Yeah. There's a time window there mm -hmm. that, that we don't have control of that application, but our clock is turned on. But if the applicant knows that, then they're going to do, I would think, do their, you know... No, not if not if they can gain by gain by pressure. delaying. If they can put pressure on us because they get an auto, they get they get a, uh, a default yes if we don't act in time quickly enough. Mm -hmm. Then by putting pressure on us by shortening the time, right, they gain. Right, right. If they hold it, hmm. there must there must be. Um, I'm, I'm, Don, when you used to do it that way. And you would get a call from Sue. Did one of you go over and pick it up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, there's got to be. Is, is this something? Can we you won't do this get kind that of, today? Can you do that kind of stuff with inner office mail? Is that we the way the town works? No. No. Um, we won't get a call today. You know, today's day and age, we're not going to get a call from Sue every time she gets an application. Should we include something here, and should we include something on the application that instructs the applicant to get this the completed application back to the zoning board within, once it's staffed within 48 hours or something like that? Absolutely, I think we should. Yeah, we should do I that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put up yeah. the burden on them. That yeah. it's not right. considered complete until the clerk receives it, and then the zoning board receives and stamps mm -hmm. it thereafter. Right. Yeah. That's a good. That's good. <clears throat> uh, I'm going over to six. Um, This, this, this calls, generally speaking, for site plan prepared by professional engineers and or land surveyors. Um, we have seen in the recent past projects which are barely architecturally competent sketches of proposed changes to a structure. Uh, either it be a deck, either it be, uh, you know, an addition, an internal change of a garage, something that, that we accept, we, we accept depictions without that kind of information because it's gonna cost to go get somebody to do that. Mm -hmm. And we try to save an applicant I don't know what it costs, a thousand to five thousand dollars to get something like that drawn. Um, now, above here, it does say 
Uh, the board may waive certain filing requirements or request further information as listed above. I suppose that ability to waive that requirement is the grounds under which we can choose to do that. Um, but my question is, you know, do we leave it in as a, yeah, it's something we always expect to get? Um, or, and then if we choose under the circumstances to waive it or sometimes ask for it. I mean, we've had some applicants come in with stuff that's so hand-drawn, you really have no idea what you're looking at. And, it's, and you don't know where setbacks are, and you don't know where right. abutting lots are, and you, you, it's right. like, where, where does this begin and end here, really? Right. And you're asking for us to determine a lot line and make some judgments. Um, we got to have that stuff. Um, um, and, and the next item actually identifies specifically what needs to be incorporated in those kinds of site plans. You know, 99% we get. We ask for it and we get, which is good. Um, um, anyhow, so is that okay the way it is? No need to change? Leave it in? That's fine with me. That was the only other question that I had. You're, you're just questioning it. I'm just questioning, yeah. If it's, if, it's, if it's not something that you see, I mean, my reading of it was our ability to waive any requirement gives us the ability to do pretty much what we want with an application if we don't think something's complex enough to require a, a you know an engineer's survey which we do most people have a plot plan yes you know, i agree uh which they get from the bank when they buy the property yes something like that you can waive it because you can take that but yeah 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 you know i think when it gets close to a line then maybe you need the actual measurement scale? Or? Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, we've been in enough cases where we've, it's like we don't really know exactly where that is. No. I don't want to give right. you well, the ability to build a right setback I can't yeah. see. I also read, read here uh, somewhere where uh, uh, it's supposed to show structures of uh, um, adjacent properties. I think that's a good thing because that they show that because now you know where the other properties are in relation to what they're building. Yeah. Instead of just a lot a plot. Instead of yeah, just yeah. a plot plan. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, I think that's a that's a good thing. Well, uh, another another feature of that kind of information, which, for instance, these pictures do give you. They, they do show you, oh, there's a house here, yeah. there's a house over here. Mm -hmm. This gives you that kind of perspective. But we also reserve the right, essentially, to do a site visit anytime we want to. Right. So, you know, and I, I mean, with these folks, when she told me about it, I left here and went up there and just sat mm -hmm. across the street and looked at it, mm -hmm. just so I could get a feeling of how big is it, how deep is yeah. it, this guy wants to do this with it. I mean, it's a nice site. It's a nice well, that's what I've always done. Um, all right, well, that's, that's all. There's also references in here. Um, this also obviously came from a municipality that, that operate, operationally accepts variance and grants variances far more loosely than we do because they can grant variances for whatever they want to grant. Yeah. So there's a lot of text in here about variance. I'm, I'm still not in a position where I think we should relinquish our opportunity to explore that subject again, uh, perhaps in the Zoning Review Committee. That's a, another discussion. Um, but there's a lot of variance conversation here. It's, it's fine within the context of the variances we could grant. We rarely do it, but it does happen. Um, on page 8, special permits for nonconformities. Uh, one of Bob's typos. Yeah, one, I, two, three, I, four. I do, I do know. You know, you talk about variance versus special permit. I know there was a case several years ago where somebody wanted to build a commercial building out there on Route 1. And in order to do it, yeah, it was a machine shop. It was a machine shop. Uh, I think it was R&D. Yeah. Uh, and they couldn't get financing because 
they needed a special permit. Well, a special permit only goes with the owner. Mm -hmm. Okay, a variance goes with the land. With the land. All right? Mm -hmm. And it's permanent. Mm -hmm. And he was having trouble. He could get the special permit, but we didn't do variances. And that he had trouble getting the financing because the bank wanted a variance. Wanted a variance, but it wasn't allowed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so uh, I mean, it has it has its good points and has its bad points. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's almost like you got to discuss it on a a, a case. Yes. When a case comes up. I mean, Absolutely. Right. You know. Uh, and and I I think the the notion. The notion that the ability to grant a variance on a case-by-case -case basis, that it's a blanket authorization for this board to do whatever zoning it wants, wherever it wants to do it, um, neglects to consider that every decision that this board makes is subject to an appeal by an abutter or any interested party that is concerned about it. So it's not as though this board can blindly go out and put a restaurant wherever it feels like it because it likes the idea of a restaurant right. and grant a variance in a like, industrial district or in an outlying district because we think it would be a nice place because it's near the water. Not going to happen. Well, it still has to conform to 40A, which says that it has to be due to the uniqueness of the lot. Yeah. You, you still have all you those constraints. Find it's unique, and then you got to find why the the facts are to that. Right. It's not so an easy. It's I know. Not. I heard people saying the same thing. Oh, they'll do whatever they want. Well, well, only within the law. Only within the context of the law and the legal flexibility that you have there, and it's not unlimited flexibility. That's another conversation. Okay. You found. Uh, we checked the 1990 thing. Yeah. Um, next thing. Page 10. This is simple stuff. Um, oh, how many is that? 4-6, uh, the order of business for hearings. The chairman shall call the hearing to order and the following shall be read aloud at the public hearing. Applicant's application, or somewhere thereof, and public hearing script. Um, I don't like the term script. It sounds too boilerplate. That's what, it, that's what it's labeled, you know. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I think it should be either public, um, I had a word for it this afternoon. Procedures. Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah, public hearing procedure is fine. Protocol. Um, well, the script itself is labeled public. Script. Yeah, I know that. So I, I don't should like change that. Maybe I should change that too. Yeah. Well, that's, that's an change, internal change document. Change in public hearings. That's procedure. an internal Public hearing procedure, change, yeah, because a change the word here because a script a script is like here, just read it. Who cares? Yeah. Uh, to me, you know, I, it, it well, just the script it's it's I think Katrina called it a script because it was listing the applicant and why the applicant is coming before the board, and that's what the script. Yeah. Like you know, I love her, but I don't agree with her. Oh. She does. <laughs> 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 Play it out. Um, okay, so why don't we, what do you want to change the word to be? Procedure. 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 Chairman says procedure, okay. Um, okay, the, the next item, and this goes back, uh, number three there, the order of the public hearing shall be as follows. Judy Pickett, Dave would remember this, Judy Pickett came and talked with us probably uh, eight or nine years ago, mm -hmm. and she sat and she said, okay, here, here's how this this works, and essentially, yes, a explanation of application procedures by chair. Uh, B, um, the applicant's presentation. That's fine. Okay. C. Okay. Then other town board officials, any other town elected officials who want to hear. If the fire department is here, and Chief Broderick want has a comment, or Frank from the health department or Brent from conservation, or uh, Cliff from planning, have comments about an application, that's when they have an opportunity to present their perspective from that board and their role as a board. Then, then the, um, 
this, you know, we've never done this really in favor or opposed. Have you had any experience with that? Any feeling about it? You know, I, I, it's important that we get who they are. Um, yeah. Um, I, I don't care so much about favor or opposed. Um, makes it easier to categorize the minutes if we, if you know everyone well, who well, that, that's, them. that's that's the way we we used to do it. Uh, Is it better uh, than what we're doing now? Uh, the way we used to do it was we would ask for those who were in favor of the application to let them speak. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then those who were opposed, let them speak. Uh, and then uh, uh, and then the board asks questions. Right. I don't have any problem with inserting there that you know people who are here from a the town department you know, should, should be allowed to speak and leave. They got other things to do. Right. They're not here because they got a dog in the fight. Right. They're here because they have to give express an opinion. You know, yeah. give them a chance to be heard and get out right, right. And, away. And okay. by, by hearing from them. Well, they them, usually send you a letter anyway and you read it. That's right. You always yeah. read what Sometimes. they send. Yeah, they're not always here. So I mean, they here. rarely come. Yeah. But if yeah. they're here. They always send a letter you, of acceptance. They, they or get the deference. Of knowing that they can speak and go. Well, maybe they should be reference of reading those department letters. Well, you no, know, he always read them. Right, no, here. Oh, oh. This. Well, oh. when he, he reads yeah, the yeah, application. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, put, some, put, put something in there referencing uh, reading the letters or acknowledging uh, members of boards that may be in attendance. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, and by doing that, before you ask whether people are in favor of it, but I mean, just having the different boards respond mm -hmm. may answer half their questions. Right. Exactly. You know? Uh, there's a lot, a lot of times you have people who come with a comment and it's just because they're ill-informed about something. Yeah. Right. You know? And what I didn't like on, the, on uh, Body B there on Mary Way, him going to the other boards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That yeah. shouldn't have been. That, that's that. That is. That was a no-no. Yeah. That was a no-no. The board should have been. Everything should go to us, and they should. Have that's right. That's no, no matter what. Yeah. We had, yeah. We had yeah. a. It was out of hand. We had a case years ago where the applicant. The applicant uh, made the comment uh, that town council has already approved it. Has <laughs> <laughs> has has already said that we can we can approve it. Okay, we denied it just because you could. Uh, <laughs> Well, that's the we, kind we, 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 we right. feel like it. Right. We, we right. said, really? We denied, we denied it. We denied it. Yeah. And we took us to court. And uh, uh, the selectman appointed a new attorney to represent us because uh, town council had had given an opinion to somebody. That led the applicant to believe it was approved. Right. What the heck is town council doing giving an opinion to a private mm -hmm. party? They represent the town. Right. That's right. Right. That's right. <laughs> right. That's right. Mr. Chairman, point of procedure. I, I don't want to be a... Well, it, it, if, it, if we're going to debate these particularly longer, I'd, I'd like to finish at another meeting if it's okay with you, if it's going to be... Sure. Yeah, it's, I mean, is there anything else that anything important? Or we just got no, I got nothing thing? else. The only other thing, I, oh, if you're I, done, you're done. Yeah, I'm essentially done. Right, good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I got. I agree with your comments about the appendix that are on our existing. Mm -hmm. They can all be. They can be reviewed for uh, being current. Um, so the applications there needs to be replaced with a new one, et cetera. I think the order of those needs to be changed, but. All the appendices need to be in. I agree with that. Um, uh, your, your printer prints color. 
Yes. Of course okay. it does. I would suggest that all the changes that you've made uh, put in. I intend to do so. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that we can see. Oh, absolutely. And I'm going to put your, your initials to who wanted the changes. Yep. Okay. Okay. So the next meeting, Bob, we'll discuss what you want changed. The only things I had were, besides what they had, were, were I, I could even call you about them. Okay. It's, it's, okay. You know, I mean. No, I, I like that. You know, I like, like that idea. Bracket, right, yeah, if there was a right. bracket that appeared because it was uh, out of place, who cares? I mean, okay. No, I like that know, idea. Or email me. will find it. Or email. Because it isn't substantive. I, I mean, a lot of them weren't. I wasn't even going to bring them up. Okay, but email me if you, if you want me to make any changes. But I, I mean, yeah, if I it was substantive, time. it has to yeah. be discussed. But <laughs> if it's. No, really, if you see something that you want changed, now's the time okay. to do it, so email okay. me. Okay? okay. Yep. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. <laughs> motion to make to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.